This video will show you how I installed Azosi security cameras. There are eight cameras included in this package and the receiver comes with a hard drive. Some of these receivers do not come with it so you gotta pay attention before you buy to make sure that there is a hard drive included. These are high definition cameras with night vision. They have no sounds, they do not record sound. Here it is uh, during night time, as you can see the picture is okay, you can see clearly as much as you can with a cheap camera like this. I got it on a lightning sale, lightning deal sale on Amazon. I'm showing you here the eight cameras and how you can move them around the picture and what you can actually do with the setup and all that. I'm not going to go into these technicalities here. You can connect it to internet and download their application and you're able to remotely view everything that's happening. It's somewhat complicated. People are complaining about that. It worked for me one time after I changed my router to Google Home Wi-Fi, then I wasn't able to do it anymore, view it online, but I have other cameras for that. So this is just nice to have and I, I can see it on my cheap TV that I bought from Best Buy on a sale. So altogether this cost me around not more than 300 bucks. I bought one extra set of cables. The cables are 60 feet long that come with the system. If you need more you can buy them separately for about 20 bucks. Everything worked beside one camera that was way on the other side of the corner of the house. Now if I was able to run that through the attic it would have been okay but since I had to go all the way around the house as you'll see it was too short. Short. It, I only There was only 10 feet that it was short so I had to buy another 65 feet cable for that. I also recorded some footage from the day view so you can see the quality of the picture this was done in the late afternoon you're gonna see that shortly there was no sun it was overcast but it was still okay with the sun during midday it looks even better so this is okay for a cheap camera like this in my opinion You'll see here that you can move around different views and make them larger like this. And uh, you can also see what I did here. I installed this TV up over the window in my hallway upstairs so we can see it when we run through the hallway. The wires to this TV I ran through the attic. That's the only portion that I was able to do over from the laundry where the receiver is and then through the attic I drilled a hole up there and uh, placed it down and that way the cables are not visible at all. I think this is uh, an okay position for a TV or a monitor like this. People have it in different rooms. I thought this would be the best one in my house. You can basically install it anywhere. I'm showing you here how you can move the views to different parts of the screen. You can make it make them larger, you just drag them like that. You can even see only four cameras at a time or eight or six. This here is nice because I can see if the wind is blowing. Right now there is no wind at all and I think it's it's a nice thing to have in your house if the kids are playing outside or you're just watching everything making sure everything is okay. Here's the part of the attic above the garage that I was gonna run the wires through right there but it was just too complicated and I went around the house behind the siding so that makes everything way more complicated you have to take out each piece like that and around the corners and the gutters. It took me a day just to run the wires. It was very hot but I made it. It was probably like 90 degrees outside and humid. 
and it took me another half a day probably to install everything on the inside. You have to drill a lot of holes and it's not a job for one man but I did it myself anyway and if you have some basic skills then you should be able to do it. It's just time consuming and you have to prepare everything correctly. You have to walk around your house and look at the angles because these cameras I think they only cover up to like 70, 65 or 70 degrees something like that so it's not very wide you'll be surprised that once you inst once you put it right there that you can't see much really you have to I thought eight cameras was overkill but that was just enough maybe I could have used a couple more to cover all the areas that I wanted to see so you have to walk around the house and determine where you want the cameras which areas are the priority to you to be watched over and how hard is it gonna be to climb up there because you you have to set it up somewhat high probably like above above someone's hand reach so they no one can take it down but if you go too high then you, it's almost like a bird view bird angle view that way you can't see a face so you you have to go up probably i would say around nine to ten feet but i'm no expert so that was just my guess after you do that then you have to figure out where you're gonna run the wires through are you gonna go through the wall and do it on the inside you're gonna do it on the outside if you have vinyl sunny like i did if you have a brick house then you have to drill a lot of holes there's gonna be a lot of mess you have to run the wires through the inside of your home or through the attic the attic might be the best option but not all people have access or like in my case there was a lot of insulation up there that was just blown in and it was so humid that I wasn't even thinking of, of I would rather return this camera set if I was not able to do it this way because it was just not something that I wanted to do so here I am trying to move the siding carefully so you don't damage anything and uh, after you run the wires you have to be able to put the siding back so there are no bumps and it's not visible someone can just come in and cut your wires or it, it's just it doesn't look pretty at all also another big factor is the receiver where are you gonna put the receiver with the hard drive inside your house it should be in a hidden area where it's not visible to an intruder it would be not wise to put it somewhere open so they can just walk in and even you even though you have the the camera set up they just grab the receiver and run away that's not the case with modern cameras cameras where they you know where they record into a cloud this way everything is on a hard drive so you have to make sure you hide it somewhere where, but where you have an easy access for yourself here is a close-up of one of these cameras you can twist it around <clears throat> once you install it you can turn it left and right and you can move it up and down and you can also there's a cover up there on top where it says OC you can just switch that around and put it wherever you want like this you can pull it out to protect it from sun or uh, rain after that you just tie it down here these screws are not that good but it holds it okay it's not high quality but I would say it's better than average so for this price I, I think the quality is okay there are three screws that hold, hold it very well there and here are the cables the black cable goes goes to the receiver and you see there are connections there you just plug them in one is for the power one is for the picture and I use some electrical tape to make sure the connections are that they hold when you pull everything 
it would be not very smart to do all this work and then you pull on it and then it, it falls apart. Also the electrical tape will protect it from weather, from uh, moisture. So there is one camera that I put there, you can't really see it that okay, but as you can see it's you gotta climb on a high ladder and there is another one that will cover the other angle so what I th I think this was smart thing to do to put two cameras on a corner as much as you can that way you don't have to take out a lot of vinyl siding you can run two sets of cables to that corner and then have one camera look on one side of the house and the other camera on the other side here's a third camera that's on a corner there and this will this one looks at the road and I'm trying to show you here that you can just screw these screws into a board or a USB board that's behind here I am using the electrical tape again and you gotta make sure that these connections it can be bumpy, it's, uh, it's wide, but you're still able to do it. That makes it explained as simple as I could and as short as I could. This is the receiver on a shelf. I put it standing up to save some space and I made sure the vents are po pointed out so it's easier to cool it off the cables are in the back for the cameras, for the electric, for the power, high definition cable for the TV, the red light shows that there is no inner conne internet connection, there just so you know. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you like this video, I should have more videos coming soon, thank you.